Welcome to this sample course from Action Training Systems. All of the learning objectives included in the full course are listed on screen. You will be shown a sample of these sections in this demo. A complete listing of our course content is available on our website. Class C fires, or fires involving energized electrical equipment, are common on industrial sites and can be especially dangerous. The primary danger of energized equipment fires is the failure of response personnel to recognize the problem. Always assume electrical equipment and wires are live unless you can confirm otherwise. Remember the first rule of fighting any fire in energized equipment is to turn off the flow of electricity before attempting any type of fire suppression. Use a lockout tagout device to ensure no one accidentally turns the power back on while fire brigade members are working. In many cases, when the power has been shut down, the fire may self-extinguish. If the fire keeps burning, it becomes an ordinary Class A or B fire and can be attacked as such. Fires in delicate electronic or computer equipment should be attacked with clean extinguishing agents, such as carbon dioxide or halogenated agents. Other agents, such as dry chemicals, can cause a considerable cleanup problem and can further damage sensitive equipment. Clean agent extinguishers have a very limited range, so you will need to get close to the fire before discharging the agent. Aim the extinguisher so that the discharge reaches the base of the flames and sweep the flame from the burning surface. Keep applying the agent even after the flames are extinguished to prevent reignition. Thank you for choosing to view this demo program. For more information about the full line of over 200 course offerings available from Action Training Systems, visit our website at www.action-training.com or contact us at 1-800-755-1440, extension 3.